Okay, we're going to go through another way of how to cut out an image like this butterfly. Uh, make sure that you come over here to the hand and make sure you got a little hand showing. I've already brought up a picture of this butterfly and made a copy of it. One thing you can do, I found out, if you come over here on this area and you right click, you can pick what color of background you like. You can even custom make it to anything you like. The other thing, you come over here on the image, the picture that you have, and you can also right click on that and put fit on screen, which comes in handy. It enlarges it so you can see the whole picture. But we're only work on the uh, butterfly a little bit. And we're going to come over here, and it's the quick selection tool. You right click, make sure that the little white dot is on quick selection. If you look, I just switched it to selection brush. We want quick selection. And we're going to come over and look. You can see the size that you're going to be working with. And then you just left click and drag. And you just drag it across the butterfly. And he fills in. You can let up if you'd like and move around. Come back on the butterfly. One thing I failed to mention is inside the uh, cursor here is a plus sign. If you remove an item, you want it to be plus. And you move this down again by holding down the left. Move this over. And look carefully if you have any missed spots like that one. And you can come up hit that just a little. I'm not worried about a little bit of green right now that's sticking up there. I just want to make sure that I have the butterfly. Pretty good. And the little spot right here missed. Click it. Click it. Click it. You just put this on the edge of your work and click it and hopefully it goes in. Now right here, you see that we got, we got ants here. All right? Not ants and uncles, just ants. Inside this white. Inside this white. To show this, we can go over to the magnifying zoom tool. Hit the plus and zoom in. See the ants going around? Okay, come back over here to your quick selection tool and get rid of those guys. Push them out. Left click, push them out. Now see this, it just snuck out there a little bit. I don't care about that right now. You can come up here and go click. Click. I go to my hand tool. And I'm going to look at the edges. See how we caught, didn't catch the white quite right. So I'm going to go back over to my quick selection tool. Click. 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 Oh, click. There we go. Click. Now. There we go. So I don't care if some of this is out right now. I want to make sure that I have the butterfly because that's what we want there is another way to do that if you've already seen the video the one was using the red color and the blue color this is just another way of doing it go up to your hand and we can drag this and look and we can go back to our selection Click that. 
So you get the idea. You just kind of walk around and look and see what was missed. Okay, now we got to get these antenna, right? Got to get those. We can paint our own in, but let me show you. Go back to your quick selection tool right here. Go up to the brushes. Click on this little, I call it a drop carrot, I don't know. And you can change your diameter now. And I'm going to go down to about a three. Come over here and see how small it is? That's too small. So I'm going to make him just a little bit bigger. There's an eight. There we go. I can work with that. Make sure that you are on the quick selection tool and on the plus. And we're going to go over here and see if this picks up. If not, hey, we'll just fake it, right? Okay, I'm just kind of clicking here. I'm going to try dragging a little bit. Oh, you see that kind of number? Uh, it did. Okay. So I'm going to go up here to my undo. And we're just going to paint in those guys because they're just too light. All right. So let's go back to our hand. Click back on our butterfly. Right click. Fit to screen. Okay. Now let's get the butterfly out of the background. Go to your keyboard. Hold down the control. Then the J. Hit the J. So hold down the control key, keep it there, touch the J, and now over here on the right you will see that we have the butterfly cut out. But we are now looking at both layers. Click the eyeball, and there is the butterfly. Now we got a little bit of green here that we got to cut out, or erase in this, this case. So we hit our magnifying, our zoom tool. Make sure you got it on the plus to zoom in. And we're just going to zoom in. See how the antenna are gone? That's okay. All right. Go to your hand and come over here. We have a tinge of green. We have to erase. That's what the eraser over here is for. Take out the eraser and try out a spot there. I'm just dragging. You can come over here and click, click, click. Or you can just drag. Now I chopped a little bit of his wing off here, but that's all right. Unless you want to get it perfect. Getting the idea? Go back to your hand, drag this up and around. We got this here, go back to your eraser. What I do is I kind of watch, I don't really watch the green going away as much as I watch the, the circle on the cursor. I look towards, the, like in this case, the bottom right hand side or at about 4 o'clock on the cursor and I watch the cursor there. Move your hand with your hand, move your picture and we have a little bit of green up in here and all that here and you just hit the eraser. Like I said I just kind of watch it about four o'clock in the circle and guide it looking at the edge. Okay, you get the idea? You can sneak in here and give it a click. Sneak it in here and give it a click. Okay. Let's go back to the hand. I think you're getting the idea. We have some green here. The butterfly was 
sitting there with his wings apart right here. But I'm going to zoom in right here. Okay. One more maybe. Go back to my hand. I want to drag this up so I can see my work. Go back to the eraser tool over here on the left. We have to size this down. Let's see if a three does. Yeah, a three will work. So make sure that when you hit, whoop, not your erase, yeah, your eraser tool, you're on the three and you're on a plus. No, you don't do a plus on this one. Hey, first one in the morning here. You just left click and drag. Come up here, I'm just going to small click. And just get those little pixels over there. Them right here. Here, I'm not really sure about the butterfly. He almost looks like he's open. Or she. How do you tell the sex of a butterfly? And I'm going to jet down here for a minute. This here looks green to me. And I'm just going to polish this edge up. Get rid of some of this. I'm just holding down the left mouse. And I'm going to go back here because I'm not really sure what's going on. And I'm going to move this down to a 1. And I'm just going to kind of put a small line right through there. Okay. I think you really got the idea of this. There's no need to go further. I'm going to go to hand here and drag this up on this portion. Okay. And we're going to jump into how to put it on a background. Okay, so go back to our hand. Okay, put the hand on your on your image. Right click, fit the screen. All right. Yeah, I know he's not done, but that's close enough for right now. We're gonna paint some antenna here. All right. So let's go back to the zoom. We're gonna zoom on this portion here. All right, to paint the antenna. So, we're going to have to get a color that matches, right? So, go over here to your dropper tool. This is our sampling tool. If you watch down here, this area, watch this little box over here that's brown right now. It's going to turn reddish orange. It's going to turn white, not white, <laughs> orange, kind of a yellow, brown, black. So, the other ones, the other antenna were a weird green color. But for right now, we're going to make them any color that we want. So I'm going to look for a color pattern here that I kind of like. You look around, and let's say you like this brown. You click on that, and it's now brown. We're going to a paintbrush because we're going to paint our own antenna on, right? So we go to our paint brush right here on the on the left now we got to get out of this one pixel routine it's just not going to cut it we're going to go up i think possibly a nine no that's way too big now you can type it in by highlighting the number and typing in like number six now we got a six up here ah uh, let's try Come over here, and it kind of went like this, didn't it? Now, it looks kind of opaque, right? So we're going to take up here the opacity and put it to 100%. Okay? Going to go back over here. There we go. How's that for free hand, huh? And we're going to have to put another one approximately there. 
And there, our butterfly now has antennae. You go back to your hand, go on your image, right click, fit screen, there he is. Now we're going to place an image behind the butterfly. We're going to what? Place an image behind this butterfly. So we're going to go to our file up here, come down to place, click place, pick out a scene that you'd like to put him in. I'm going to try this one. Okay. Well, see how it's not fitting your um, palette behind there or your butterfly? Well, we can fix that. Because this here, you can drag it. Right there, there's a little spot. You might not be able to see it. Right there it is. See it? Come over here to your little bar points right and left. I'm going to drag this up just a little bit so it's, everything is just outside the edge. I found that works best in some cases. You like it? Hit the little green check mark. Now we want the butterfly on top of the picture, right? And the picture under the butterfly. Well, right now, the picture of flowers is on top of the butterfly hiding it. We want to get this butterfly out. So come over here, right click, drag this down. See the clinching little hand until that that line there turns black. Now my computer jumps once in a while. I don't know why. See, there's the black. And you just let go. Now our butterfly looks like it's flying in because he's way too big for this picture. Now we got to change over here. See, when it's black, that is what we're working on. So come back up here. Click this. Now you're going to be working with a butterfly. Come over here on to the left corner, far corner, and this little guy right here, this move tool, left click, now the butterfly is in its own little box. And we can make him the right size. We're going to put him on this flower right here. So we're going to pick him up and put him on there. Now I want you to notice inside here, where I cut that out, you can actually see the flower in between there. I don't know if you can really see it, but anyway, there he is feeding on it. I'm going to tilt him just a little bit here. Move him up here like this. Make him just a little bit bigger. It's kind of hard because we don't know the proportion of the butterfly it's supposed to be in regards to the flower. As a human, we'd be able to tell. If you like it, hit the green. Now, is that cool or what? Go back over here, click to your hand. Now your butterfly has landed in onto the flower. I'm going to go to the zoom tool, hit the plus. Come in here. See how behind here is the other type of green? It's the green from here. Okay, I'm going to go back to my magnifying glass, hit the uh, negative, zoom out zoom out or go to the hand right click fit screen all right I think you know how to do that you know how to save it so anyway there's another way that you can cut out something and put it back into a different background